Hi there, it's Darlene. I hope you're doing well. So, our Philip has been a busy, busy boy. <laughs> ah, trust pilot. Ah, I don't know if you remember. Uh, for those of you who are new, you may not, you may have to go, you may want to go back and see my last video on trust pilot. It's not the previous one to this, but it's, uh, it was done a bit ago. I did a video on trust pilot and how Philip is manipulating the reviews on trust pilot. And oh my goodness, he's continuing with it. That's for sure. So in the previous video, I showed you how he created a new trust pilot, a new site, uh, website, and then is directing his little cronies to go there to review seven figure accelerator. And that is at philipjohansen.com instead of sevenfigureacceleration.com, which was the, which is the original site. Now he is driving traffic to it through throughout the course well it, he doesn't have it on every page of the course but on a lot of the newer stuff he does have it he's got these two little paragraphs um if this video helped you in any way please you know leave your review here and it sends it right there to philipjohansen.com and then saying that he will hand pick a few trust pilot reviews per day and give you a shout out on my instagram account well my goodness philip johansen's instagram account that's huge and these people are so wanting to get themselves in front of him. They will do anything. I mean, you should see these people in the live calls, the females, when they get, oh, and the guys too. I mean, when they get in front of them, they're just preening. Um, they just, oh, hi. <laughs> oh, God. It just makes me cringe watching this. But anyways, so, I mean, they want to get a shout out from their Lord and Savior, Philip Johansson. It's just, it is so much like being in a cult. And no, I won't take back my what I said about them being in a very much, this is very much cult mentality in this whole program. Now, so he's got these peppered throughout the course now. And also still encouraging people in the Facebook group and especially on the Zoom calls. But what really gets to me is this here is right at the bottom end of the mindset, uh, all the mindset modules. See, there's 10 of them there. And then this is the next one on what's next. And here's where he's too pushing them towards, you know, go to the, the new trust pilot site and leave your review there. And he makes it sound so nice that oh yes, it's all right. You know, we just want to, we want to know what's wrong with the program so we can fix it. We want it to be the very best it can be. We want your honest feedback so that, you know, we can know what we're doing right and do it more and, you know, and fix what's broken and bra rah, rah, rah. And this is right them coming off of all this mindset training about, oh, how this is awesome and how you got to focus and how you got to move and you got to keep going and you got, oh, and they're all, you know, really riled up and going and now go and put what you think about it in, you know, in trust pile and rah, rah, rah. Oh my God. And you should see it. And they have, they're like, oh my God, this my stuff, this mindset stuff is great. You know, it's like, yeah, you just drank the Kool-Aid. You know, you're all jazzed up and you haven't seen anything yet and yet they're going oh and you look at those reviews oh yeah this is so good it's just you know this program is so awesome the mind stuff, mindset stuff is so awesome it's like yeah have you made any money yet have you really experienced anything i mean listen to how he does it here so listen guys if you like it what you got here if you like the, the the training the mindset training you can click the button below this video here and write us an honest review on trustpilot i want an honest review your opinion a true honest opinion of what you think about it so far so if you press the button below this video here you come through trustpilot and you can write and review a review uh, every day I go through the reviews and my team as well. So if we want to implement something, if we want to change something, if we need to do something better, yeah. or if we are doing a good job with something, we can do more of that yeah. as well to help you and all of the other people in here to just simply create the best program in the yeah. world. That is, that is what I want to do. I want you to have the best experience you could possible imagine and that you can't get anywhere else. 
So click the button below this video right here and leave an honest review about what you have uh, gone through right now. And uh, every day I go through them and I give uh, a shout out to some of the reviews on my Instagram account. So you can, uh, so some of my hundreds of thousand followers can see your name as well. Okay, cool. Thank you. And uh, see you in the next video. Oh my God, you're all pumped. And this nice man asks you to go write your honest review on Trustpilot. And your name is going to be up in front of hundreds of thousands of people. Wow, what are you going to do? You're going to leave a crappy review or a bloody glowing review? And I was just thinking too, you just dumped $2,000 $2, to $2,500 on this program with a no refund policy. <laughs> so you're bloody hoping that it's right. And you've just gone through that mindset stuff, right? Where you've just been reprogrammed now and you're like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This has got to work. It's going to it's gonna work. Yes, it will. Oh, yeah. And then you go write a trust pilot review. Uh-huh. And if you look at those green starred one, that's mainly what it is. Occasionally, you do see a bit of truth coming out between the lines, but it's just here and there. And so, where does he put them? Oh, yes, they're there in Instagram. So, see, under his picture there, it goes like 10 mil plus in 2.5 years, then founder at seven figure accelerator. You click on that, and it takes you to right here. And then you get all, you know, tons and tons and tons and tons of these reviews posted there. And doesn't everybody want their glowing words up in front of Philip? So are you going to leave a negative review? Ever? You'd be nuts if you did. And then in all the, in almost all the Zoom calls now. Hope you guys value the time, even while you haven't got picked. Have you guys gotten any value out of this call here by now? Put in a yes or no in the chat. I got a cheer at eyes. 1,000. Yes. Yes, a lot. Yes. Yes. Awesome. Of course. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Phil, you are amazing. Thank you. Thank you, iPhone user. <laughs> Eve created the trust pilot. Is that the right trust pilot? Because somebody created a fake trust pilot. Is that the one? Yes. Thank you, Eve. Thank you, Eve. Wow, did you notice how he couldn't maintain eye contact there while delivering that BS line about somebody created a fake trust pilot? Well, actually, it's not that BS of a lie because somebody did create a fake trust pilot. Let's watch that again. Is that the right trust pilot because somebody created a fake trust pilot? Well, I'm no body language expert, but... Speaking of fake trust pilot sites, <laughs> voila, philip-johansson.com. See on the upper right there? Yeah, all of the um, materials, everything that you're going and seeing, the sales pages and everything are all sevenfigureacceleration.com, not philip-johansson.com. But look at all of the Excellent reviews, 4.81 stars. Excellent above it. Wow, isn't that awesome? Right. You know, you can sort. See at the bottom there where it says sort and then most recent? So then if you go back to the oldest post, but da Danielle, <laughs> on August the 29th, 2023. Danielle, who works for Philip Johansson, as everybody knows. Yeah. Well, next. <laughs> How about sevenfigureacceleration.com? Yes, we all know and are familiar with this. And look at the Trustpilot score with a huge number of one-star reviews. And if you go to the most recent, when did it start up? Ding, 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 ding. June 16th, 2023. Right. This was months and months and months before the other one. And it starts off with a bad review. Go figure. <laughs> no wonder he doesn't want anybody to see this. And he's willing to do whatever it takes to make sure that that other one gets seen because he sure can't, he sure doesn't want his students to be seeing the actual reviews like this lady from Norway. 
And this is just from three days ago. She says, started good, ended bad. I started this in August 2023. Implement what he learned in training modules, showed up for weekly live calls, asked for help. I make good quality video like he's teaching and modeled 100K plus videos. 100K plus videos, that would be videos that had 100,000 views or more. So viral, what they call in the program, viral videos. Now, I mean, hello. To me, a viral video is one that everybody's talking about. And it's like, uh, yeah, these one they call viral is like, okay, I guess maybe for sales videos, sure. But mm -hmm. anyways, this this lady was doing it right, you know. I did get some subscribers, but no sales. Two weeks ago, I heard that it was a fight inside the community about Phil taking the money for the affiliates, as many now are leaving. He's also selling. That's really interesting. I didn't know that. So that that's that's news to me. He's also selling the course to very old people with the last hope of getting better financially, and they see no result. This would be a rough program to do if you're not at all tech savvy Ugh, or or into social media and uh th this would be difficult if you were older i think i also heard that an affiliate asked this question in a live call and then got kicked out of the facebook group and the ability to promote the course yeah they will absolutely do that sort of thing i didn't see that specific instance but they do that you will also get you if anybody from the program were to, you know, comment in my comments, it will get noticed by someone in the group and they'll tattletale and they will get kicked out of the group, you know, out of, out of the Facebook group. That will happen. This is happening. They're covering up for each other. It's like a sect. Yes. Remember I was talking about cult mentality? That's exactly the it. I have also noticed that the people that raise their hands on live calls and get a chance to, a chance to ask a question all of a sudden get sale. All of this made me stop. It's not easy. Wow. So you got to realize what it's like in the program, right? I mean, he's constantly <clears throat> each time every anybody makes a sale, you're going to have a notification drop in the Facebook group. And each time anybody makes a sale, their name goes up on the leaderboard. So you've got two places that you can see these things. And if you're in there just hoping and hoping and hoping for a sale, you're going to be watching that sort of thing. That's also the sort of thing that I would not have been able to see. So I find that really interesting that this person is reporting that because it's something that I certainly had no knowledge of. Uh, wow, I'm going to be starting to really keep eyes open for that sort of thing from now on, though. It shows that if a person um, sprinkles around commissions to the dissenters, it can help keep the troops quiet and morale up. Interesting. It's not, and it's not easy. The sales videos keep saying, it's easy, it's easy. And people are noticing more and more strange things. The course is also too expensive. Building a funnel and setting up your email is not hard, and he's trying to justify the ridiculously high price because of this. Phil says one to two hours a day. It takes a hell lot more than that. He makes tech, di tech difficult videos we are taught to model, and it takes four to five hours a day in the beginning. I've got over. I've gone over to MRR, taught to model, and it takes whoops, and a much cheaper course. With 100% profit, and I build everything myself. Okay, a little shameless plug there. <laughs> Enough with this hustle culture. Oh, have to add, there were so many one and two reviews here a few weeks ago, but Phil's community flags the bad reviews or deletes them. Yes, they do. And I and several, an entire other group of people have been noticing this, how they get deleted. And it's just amazing. I didn't know the underbelly of Trustpilot like this. But yeah, Trustpilot is awful. And the good ones often come in a batch after the community have been notified that there are bad reviews on here. Yeah, I've and I've shown you proof in my last video on Trustpilot um, how they will all come together. 
you know, go to go to Trustpilot, put your honest reviews. Yeah, right. They tell us to go write good reviews on Trustpilot. I hope someone sees this before my review is also flagged. Surprisingly enough, and notice that this is actually on the fake site, the one that they created, the philip johanssoncom site. But it's amazing that they that it's still up here. This person must have really fought, and that means that this person would have had to have shown that they had bought the program. So this is not a fake review. I know personally of real people who have had who have posted their reviews on there. They have been through the program, have gotten chargebacks, and have had their posts flagged and then taken down, flagged by Philip and his team. And then taken down by Trustpilot because they didn't, they for some reason did not have enough proof that they were in the program. It was just crazy. It was just stupid. So I know that that definitely does happen. And so, and that this person has to be real and must have fought to keep this review up there at all. So that's amazing. A few other reviews managed to stay up on that site too. Here's another one from the United States. I was manipulated into buying this. I was manipulated into buying this program. Once I started the training, I quickly realized that it was nothing as the promo video described. It's a scam and everyone needs to stay clear. Oh, I paid 6000 and had my access removed four months later from the U.S. to <laughs> Marianne. Here's what happened. I purchased a program for $24.97. Three months in, I got nowhere, not even a lead. I attended calls, groups, and did what I was told. It was suggested I upgrade to the 10K program. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. If, you, if you're having problems and you're still talking to support back and forth, then it's like, oh, yeah, you'll get much more, you know, personal help and everything if you, if you upgrade to Diamond Club. $10,000. I mean, and that's, they always hold something back for the people in the regular group. That's like, oh yeah, you, you know, you, you, you do better if you were in diamond club to try and get that, that honking $10,000 out of these people. It's criminal. So I did the call with the salesperson and said, I couldn't afford it. I was told in the next four weeks with the coach and higher commission, I would make $10,000. Yeah. So I took out three credit cards and maxed them all out to give an additional $3,000 as my first payment on top of the $24.97. Oh my God. I was assigned a coach who was horrible, had no clue what was going on. I immediately asked for a new coach and was denied. One month later, they fired her because of so many complaints. I got a new coach and then my next 3K payment was due and my card declined. They immediately cut me off all access, including the initial program that was bought and paid for. Oh my God, that's $6,000. Oh. Now I'm hearing the reason so many make no sales is because Philip actually steals the sales. That's why he sets up the funnel. It's a program where you're constantly running on the ice trying to compete with him and his team for sales. Well, yeah, because you got to realize that, I mean, any sales he's getting through his funnel, that you know, which is going to be a huge amount, is going to be going straight to him, plus the ones he's siphoning off from the affiliates because there is no lifetime cookie and he can assign them wherever he wants. And then you've got all of the affiliates all vying for that same dollar, all putting out the same stuff. Like, oh my God, I wouldn't have written this review if they had just downgraded me, but to take the 2497 program also was really wrong. I was willing to eat my loss for being ignorant. No, oh, you're not. The training itself is not bad, but in real life just doesn't work for the majority. I was really disappointed in how they handled this. No response to emails or texts. Just kick me out and take my money. Jeez. Truly successful business owners don't conduct business like this. Most of the reviews here are not true. He tells people to do it and they do, hoping to score points with him. Exactly. This will catch up with him soon enough. Lesson learned and time to move on. What a shame. 
And now we're back to the real site. And let me catch you up on a few really good reviews coming out of that side too. Aaron from the US. It is bunk and all about upselling you on the more add-ins. On more add-ins. FTC has them on their watch list, so that is a huge red flag. Um, actually, I, I looked it up, and I don't believe the FTC has a watch list. But if I'm wrong, please do let me know in the comments, because I that is something I would love to know. But I couldn't find anything about an FTC watch list. Uh, the course is all about teaching you how to sell the very course you bought. So it is basically teaching others how to chase their own tail. As you know, Seven Figure Accelerator Damage Control people are in here writing those five-star reviews. Not sure how anyone could be proud in selling people on how you sold them. Yeah. Elizabeth from the United States. Desperation is setting in. Wow, it's clear that this business will not tolerate any negativity. Their Facebook groups monitor every single post to keep the positivity flowing, no matter the reality, and they flag every negative review possible. If sales are converting so tremendously, as they say, why do they have to put on sale after sale for this program? And keep in mind the long-standing adage, if something seems too good to be true, chances are extremely high that it is. Marivy from the U.S. Don't fall for the scam. You're paying thousands to become an affiliate for this course. It is free to become an affiliate with any other company. And no, it's not easy to make 7 second viral content. It's extremely hard to do so. Abdul from the U.S. Here is what you need to know. This guy has masterminded a false operation and is using his top earners to leave positive reviews here. He tells them in his group sessions to get on here and leave positive reviews. Here is, here is some must-know details about what he is doing. You really should pause this and read all this. I just, I, this, this video is going to take too long. I can't. So by making an account and having a few followers, then you can't get refunded. Complete scam too. This guy has become bold with what he is doing and so are his followers until they get exposed and become subject of an investigation. Ashley from the U.S. lost my money to a scam. Unfortunately, I fell victim to a Ponzi scheme I joined a couple months ago with the expectation to learn about affiliate marketing to gain more skills to apply to an already crafted business plan I built that the course has no value whatsoever other than to teach you how to sell Philip Johansson's course with false claims and lies. My money could have been better spent and put into things that I desperately needed for my family. In addition, you are put into a Facebook group with other individuals that are just as lost and confused due to Philip's lack of mentorship. I just want my money back, but it appears he lied about that too. So yes, I lost my money because I cannot continue down this path that is unethical because unlike his top producers selling his program who are blinded by the money, I have a conscience and I cannot allow other people to fall for his scam. Even worse, his affiliates have no way of tracking their commissions or any activity from the funnel links that Phil has created and has control of. What kind of BS is that? Exactly. Exactly. I mean, they have no back office. They have no way of tracking any of this stuff. It's, it's just crazy. Kimberly Thibodeau from the U.S. Zero stars. If I could give this total scam zero stars, I would. Philip is a liar and a thief who moved to Dubai to avoid prosecution. I was someone who was duped into this high-ticket program that promised two one-on-one -on -one calls a month with Philip. Well, guess what? That never happened. In fact, when I complained, his office manager came right out and told me that wasn't going to happen. Whoa. And you can't track your leads. As others have said, Philip keeps a lot of the commissions for himself and a few of his top earners in order to scam even more people. And here's the kicker. I was also supposed to get unlimited access messaging Philip with a 24-hour response, which, of course, didn't happen. However, when I filed a dispute with PayPal to get my $10,000 back, it wasn't more than one minute that Philip was messaging me, calling me every name in the book. They even have the nerve to try to tell me Philip's account had been hacked. Yeah, right. Anyway, thanks to PayPal, I got all my money back. Stay as far away from this lying, stealing creep as possible. 
I wasted six months trying to make something work that was never going to happen because I wasn't anointed as one of the lucky few. Jimmy Eitel from Canada. And I wish I had time to read these to you, but I, it's just, I'm running out of time. But these are all so good. And I hope you pause and maybe watch them. Sam from U.S. And Michelle Smith. Oh my God, she has so much good, I mean, um, good. Huh? Oh, so much information to give about this program. And more there. Faisal. And Farzad. And this one I am going to read. This is the last one, though. But this guy, yeah, unhappy customer. And it's just a day ago, too. So this is like very, very new. Do not fall for it. Wow, where do I even start? I was really excited because Philip does a great job at selling the hopes and dreams you can make money wise. But here's the honest truth. Do not fall for it. It's like anything else. If it seems too good to be true, it is. I've been an entrepreneur for over 15 years, built multiple businesses, 48 locations, wow, and trained over 9,000 people in our academy. So I am not a newbie. Imagine my surprise when I saw this program. Wow, I can make all this money and all I have to do is post seven second videos. Sign me up. I have over 300,000 followers, so I thought this should be easy. It's not. So imagine all these beginners with zero following and zero tech skills, how much they are struggling. See later how I know all this. Let's start. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's start with the commission I made. Yes, I made a commission by selling the program to my friend. So it wasn't a stranger. I received an email from Philip's commission team. Congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations. You made $1,508. I was so excited. Then I looked at my Cope card account and saw only a commission of 1041 Found out you only get 80% of the commission 20 days after the purchase and the other 20% on the 40th day after the purchase. But wait, does that add up to 1508 No. So I contacted Philip's team and they kept giving excuses that it was Cope card's fault and they couldn't control it. I said, then why send me a commission email saying a different amount? That's not right. FYI, the commissions come from Philip. Exactly. Philip assigns them, so they should know how much it is. We went through countless emails back and forth with no resolution except excuses. I finally got so frustrated, I just told them it, I would send it to my attorney and would write a review on my experience. Well, bam, the next morning there was a resolution, kind of. I was contacted by Danielle, who was going to get to the bottom of it. Funny thing is, do you think Philip got his money? Absolutely, or he, would be throwing, or he would be throwing the same fit. Again, after numerous emails, there was still no resolution, so I said, how about you give me a partial amount back that I paid to, re to rectify the amount owed to me? Danielle say they, said they could refund one of the payments I made to them for the inconvenience. I was still frustrated but thankful that Hey, after over 20 emails and two months later, sure, I finally got the money on a resolution I had to come up with and only after me bringing up taking legal action. Then the 40th day came to be paid my 20% remainder. Guess what? I didn't get it. Why? Because in order for Cope Cart to pay out, they require a minimum of $250 in commissions. No, and mine was less than that by $40. Well, if I would have received my original commission from Philip of 1508, then this wouldn't be a problem. So again, I get screwed and have to wait for the money owed to me. Now let's get to the best part. Part of what you purchase is the community group on Facebook, right? Great. So after seeing so many new people post their frustration and concerns, I thought, why don't I try to help these people and see if I can offer tips since I've excelled at social media growth? When I posted it, it was approved by their admin team. It has to be approved first. Yes, they do have to be approved first. After approval, I received over 100 comments in 20 minutes. Help me. Yes, please look at my IG, etc. Then one day later, I had over 257 comments, oh my God, of people asking for my help to re review their Instagram and then wanting advice. 
This doesn't include the 150 DMs I got as well. Oh my God, asking for help. So that's over 400 people needing help. And I went through all of their Instagrams and sent helpful hints. Oh my God, this guy's a saint. And sent helpful hints to get more views slash engagement, etc. I answered their questions, meaning what, meaning what they asked me, not me searching for them. Yeah, which means them asking him. Like, he didn't go looking for these people. They came looking for him. These people contacted me. After two days of a pretty popular post, the post was removed by Phillips Admin. Wish I could provide snapshots on here. Feedback saying, Buddy, if you can contact me, if you're hearing this, my telegram, con my contact information is in the description at the bottom. It's a telegram contact. Please do contact me. I'd love to put up your proof if you've got any. Yeah. Feedback saying that they removed the post because this is what their top affiliates and Philip are for. Thank you for your offer to help. Oh, <gasps> well, then why aren't they in there helping like that? Basically, we don't need you to help anyone. Well, reality check with over 400 people contacting me and your 17 mentorship calls you proclaim clearly something isn't working. The messages I got were, I haven't made a sale and it's been months. I can't seem to get any views. I do everything the program says and nothing works. I want to give up. I wrote them, don't give up and gave them the tips. After his, this advice was given, someone sent a snapshot to Philip's team of only my response, giving advice instead of showing the question she asked. And because of this, I was kicked out of the group. Yep, I was kicked out for helping people. Part of my purchase included this group, and now I don't even get to explain and send my proof. The partial proof this re they received was enough to be kicked out. I only get 4,000 characters on this review, but there were two other issues I dealt with. However, I think you get the point. Do not waste your hard-earned money on a program that just isn't realistic. Yes, some will sell, but the vast majority won't. FTC is investigating this program. There's been quite a few that are that have been reporting this to the FTC. But wow, what an experience there. And this is the stuff that Philip really doesn't want his people to see. And if they stay on that other safe, fake trust pilot site, they'll never see them. And they'll just be seeing all those green comments. And because they're just flooding it with so bloody many of the good comments. And then harassing people for the one star and two star comments. It's just crazy. So if this material has helped you out at all, if you found this at all interesting, maybe you can think to give me a cup of coffee. I sure would appreciate it. I This channel could really use it, to be honest. Every dollar sh certainly does help. Donation link is at the top of the comments and in the description. So please, if you've bought the program and you'd like to leave an actual honest review on Trustpilot, <laughs> the links are in my description as well. And as usual, in my description, you will not find any affiliate links because I am not doing this while I am doing these reviews. So you have a great evening or a great day whenever I should happen to have caught you. And give me your thoughts in the comments <laughs> about what your review is of this program. Talk to you later. Darlene out.